don't you feel like this whole just where we're at with people and like dating and online dating everyone has just sort of become like desensitized mm -hmm. to monogamy and just to like being faithful to someone because you the next best thing is just like a swipe away on your phone yeah. Hi, I'm Megan Edwards. This is Whining Wednesdays on Bear Talk TV. This is the lovely Natasha. Cheers. So today we are talking about a study that was recently done and it said that women who are cheated on actually benefit from the experience hmm. in the future. Now a lot of women will be like, mm, hell no. <laughs> I do not want to be cheated on no matter I, how much it yeah, will benefit me. Exactly. What are your thoughts on it? I mean, I can understand it. Like, I think women who have been cheated on, you know, likely when you enter a new relationship or you meet a new guy, maybe you will be a little bit more cautious about things you missed before. But then I also wonder, maybe it'll make you too cautious and you'll never trust anyone again. Like, that's the sort of perspective I have. That's but, true. I mean, if this article, if it was an actual study, they clearly know more than I do. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, like, I kind of feel like any experience that we go through as human beings, no matter what it is, make us better in general. So I was like, what is this? This is kind of an obvious sort of study. If it doesn't like, kill you, it makes yeah. you stronger. Anything I've ever done, in which I do think that people should be in lots of relationships, maybe not get married to, I mean, some people it works for them, but it wouldn't have worked for me to get married to my first love. Um, the more relationships you are in, the, the stronger you are, the more you realize who you want in, in life, what what partner, what kind of partner you want. So I kind of thought like, well, yeah, obviously, but we don't really want to be cheated on to have that happen. And I think you learn sort of like what your limits are, like as a woman, like what am I willing to put up with? And yeah. for most women, infidelity is not one of those things you're willing to put up with. But by going through a cheating experience, I think women realize, hey, I made it through the other end yes. and I'm okay. Totally. So if this happens again, I'll be fine. But then, like you said earlier, after that, you're going to be like, hmm, every man is going to cheat on me. Oh, you're really out with your friends? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just, it kind of sucks in a way because getting cheated on or even being the cheater, you're kind of like, everyone's cheating. And don't you feel like this whole, just where we're at with people and like dating and online dating, everyone has just sort of become like desensitized mm -hmm. to monogamy and just to like being faithful to someone because you the next best thing is just like a swipe away on your phone yeah. so I, you know you just that compound slide thing. into the dm yeah slide into the dm yeah. right <laughs> like i think that's just compounding things for people but maybe it's also desensitizing us to well everyone cheats so yeah so why not but is that Whatever. where we are that makes me kind of sad it's really depressing relationships are the worst and the best. They are the best and the worst. <laughs> they are only the extreme. What do you think? Do you think it's a good thing to be cheated on because you might benefit from it in the future? Uh, comment below. Let us know. I'm Megan Edwards. That was Whining Wednesday on Bear Talk TV. Cheers.